Oh, another dream. To infer what we just saw, it looked like uh, the bottom of Kashik. Because most of Kashik is all trees. Oh, I don't like how that bent under the weight of the ship. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. I'll take you on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. If you really think about it, we're talking about things as small as, you know, well, a table. Let's just put the table as the size of a star map. Here's your table. There you go. There's your table. Now, what you're trying to say is there's only a few of them in the entire world. You need every single one of them. This little table right here can be hidden on a planet. Just say Earth. Anywhere on Earth. And as far as you know, it could either be in Russia, uh, North America, or it could be, as far as you know, in the Atlantic Ocean at the bottom of it. How are we going to go to Kashik and be like, Oh, let me just search the entire underground area. When it's so dangerous for normal Wookiees to even go through it. And for this, we'll bring... We'll bring Basila. And we'll bring... Him, even though he probably won't like this. I mean, he wasn't on Kashyyyk to begin with. A docking fee? I don't need to pay that. The force should not be used for profit and personal gain. I will have no trouble. Yeah, I can just speak the language. Don't worry about me. Apparently he says it's hard for people to understand it, so... Hey, uh, let's see. We'll get you... Demolitions, tree injury... Ah, oh, so you got more points. Awareness. Yeah, you're not very useful for anything else. Uh huh. We'll give you. There you go. First of all, we'll give you energy resistance because that's nice. Night speed, because I really hate walking from place to place. Uh, 
Uh, so we don't have to worry about droids right now. Honestly, I'll give you Force Whirlwind. We're just gonna spend all of our time doing this. You need, like, lightsaber. There you go. Free injury. Boom. Boom. She is immune. Uh, pretty much their whole thing is they get force immunities. Like, unlike my night jump, they get Im immunity to fear, stun, and paralysis. And I believe that's all they get? They get something else, I think. But I'm not too sure. Give her improved flurry. Because flurry is a beautiful skill. We'll give her a heal and force armor and make her an absolute beast in combat. Not to mention, we have to upgrade you so you don't get one shot. So we'll give you treat injury and demolitions. Now, I believe he's a scoundrel? No, he's a scout. And with scouts, you get your uncanny dodge. I'm not sure if I really went in, like, depth when I was making a character. But pretty much, to sum it up, I know it's, like, late. Soldier, big, big strong boy, has unlimited health, can wear any armor. Not really good for the main character, because he kind of has to grow later on in the game away from being a soldier and more into being a Jedi. But, it makes the beginning of the game easy. Scout, probably one of the... Probably your balance class. You get dodge bonuses. And it's good to grow from, because honestly... You, you don't get, like, max you know, armor skill. You know, it doesn't show it here. You don't get max armor and all that. But, you don't really have to worry... Because you kind of got go into using robes when you're a Jedi anyway. Plus you get the dodge bonus. And I think you get implant bonus as well. Don't remember. And last but not least. The scoundrel is the best class late game. As is the easiest to grow from. However, it makes the beginning of the game an absolute nightmare. Which is why I'll never play Scoundrel unless I'm really ready to just grind and get killed every 10 seconds. You really have to rely on other people. Unlike Soldier, which you can kind of just walk into things. Jedi Guardian. If you do Soldier into Guardian, you just, like I do, you just have unlimited health. It's when you're unsure about what you're going to do and you just want to run into things and kill them. And I say that talking about myself. I'll just get blaster rifle thing. With the uh, other. So then there's uh, Sentinel. That's when you, if you go, what's it called? Scoundrel into Sentinel. You're just, you're just a, a monster. You can get immune to everything and just dodge everything. Cause you have so much luck on your side. It's insane. Scout into a consular? Or how you say it? I don't remember what, what the word is. You are pretty adaptable. And that's probably the best like force power you can get into. You can strip just spam force at that point. Wow, you're, your stuff is pretty high, my friend. Actually, actually, repair, no, demolitions, heal yourself. Yeah, see, he gets implant level j just for free. 
How how good is his melee weapons? Is it maxed? It's maxed. All right, let's get this then. We might make him use his uh, melee weapons just just for the hell of it. And for a scout, it's weird that he has power attack. Not exactly sure why. I don't think I gave it to him. I think he just had it for some reason. There you go, master. He has a lot of level ups, huh? There you go. I don't know, should I just make him a... a one-handed? I'll leave that for now. Yeah, conditioning should be good for him. We'll just upgrade this again, and give him some... awareness. No. Pair. I guess extra conditioning. Give you more dexterity because you need it, honestly. And this. Yeah, honestly, let's just make him unable to be, like, affected. There you go. Can't put anything on him. Honestly, make him immune to poison right now. Give him demolition skill. Reflex is really good for him. You know what? Let's make him two-handed. Sure. No problem. Got it. Hey. Ooh, an interface visor. What the hell is that? Oops. That's actually not that bad. Two, two, two. Oh, this is just a better version of what I got. I actually want to see what that looks like. That looks pretty nice. I'll give the other one to someone else. Hey, buddy. Just crunky to pets, Nemo. Oh, he's just a Pizza player. I don't want to play Pizza. Oh, that guy looks like he really wants to talk to me. Oh, this guy. ちくんいだほどんがいけんことんはいとんじじじゅんぶんぱにたぽえてきとああいわんねるんだでほどんがくんはんかびわなたこんじゅんスタッフみきグラブルモゴかちちゅういたぼどんがかちくんいだほど
Tonda dijo Tonga kun honka bi Kachi kun ita Alright Achuta Funny seeing him here again the worst that can happen so new spaces have come to wild kashik please look well upon the wares of eli gand i live to serve your needs just be sure to pay cash the interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside oh. first off hearts are all backside secondly i don't much like the comparison no need to get personal it's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. Especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matt and is worth much more than what is owed. Especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> As I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. Of course. What do you carry? Of course. You're in a hurry. Oh. Each sales garbage. I mean, this, this is alright, but no thank you. This is also alright, but no thank you. Oh. That could be useful later. Not that that many enemies use electrical attacks. Actually pretty decent. And gives a poison uh poison. Don't worry, buddy, I'll help you eventually. Oh god, what you want? You wanna waste my time? Oh, How can I help? Looks like something's bothering you. No, not bothering you. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. 
think you're interested more than just a bond between us. Oh, please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are... Well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I oh, admit I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Oh, Surely you can sure. understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. I'll have you know, if someone could cast Force Lightning for me, or Force Choke a bitch just for me, my panties would be dropping. Is this a club to come on? Nah, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I am a hut in human form, playing no with your other Republic. Now I'm sick of it, sorry. I'm just so good. good. On which planet were you born? Cash? I'm a lucky, can't you tell? Excellent. Your current age is? 3,000... Uh, 3,012. Yes. Well... The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what'd you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. You know, she actually seems okay. She doesn't seem to be like a big meanie pants. That wants to ruin all my fun. Hi, buddy. That's a dead Kashuk over there. Alright. Did I just say something dumb? That's a dead Wookiee here on Kashuk. Good thing I, I twist my words around. He straight up took that man on his home world of Kashyyyk. That's what I'm trying to say. I do my job and keep my mouth shut. Maybe I can do some good if I stay out of people's way. They don't have that much stuff. Oh. Oh, but he does sell guns. A Discord gun. That's alright. A heavy weapon? I haven't seen a heavy weapon in a while. I don't know why they're really rare. Heavy weapons in this game are just extremely rare for no reason. One second. Okay, I had to set up. I fell out of my chair a little bit. Hey, you guys are gonna let me through. Right? Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. Yeah, Circa's kind of a bunch of a-holes, I'll tell you that. I don't like Circa all that much. Oh, well, here they are. How do you run way up to There's a corpse. Ooh. Thank you. You better watch out. Uh, 
You can't expect to counter. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Sorry if you me what happened. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. <laughs> Actually make him turn. Yeah, you could probably turn him, but no. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have Just shut up, you trigger happy idiot. Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? Doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? Uh... I, uh, I think I should pull in some favors and get us moved off-world, men. Uh, are you all right, Captain? Are you questioning my orders? You don't want to do that. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. There we go. Oh, he had some good stuff on him. No. I'm here. I'm not much of a de demolition expert, so cover these. They're only minor grenades, so. What? Honestly, because I'm pretty bored. Let's upgrade this weaponry. It's honestly just to get some experience. Plus this thing will help me in combat. We don't have a ranged uh, helper, so... This is our ranged helper. Can I straight up just... Oh yeah, what do you have been hacked? They straight up just lift up the sword and just slash them. Go on, buddy. I think he just keeps going too. I'll just follow him. Go there, buddy. It's all right. I use you as a personal shield, by the way. Technically, I'm I'm its shield because all it does is fire from far away. Honestly, you can just destroy enemies on its own, I believe. However, this thing does not cut corners. It will just follow in a straight direction. Kind of annoying. I wish it went just a bit faster. But honestly, this thing was not meant to be overpowered. It was literally meant to get like one or two extra shots or something. Yeah. Let's make this quick. 
Seven uh, spikes for just not bad stuff. Really, it wasn't that bad of a uh, of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> 